His Grace will receive you here. It isn't every day that a Saxon monk has an audience with an archbishop. Open your eyes. You'll kiss his ring and show respect for his grace, or you'll get my foot on your backside. You're welcome to Canterbury. Kneel to his grace. I see our young brother is quite unchanged. Has he been troublesome to his abbot? Stubborn as a mule, my lord. Father Abbot tried kindness, but in the end had to have recourse to bread and water and even to the whip. Nothing has any effect. Except for a good kick in the rump. If your grace will pardon the expression. Stand up straight. Pay attention to your brother. As a rule, the sin of pride stiffens a man's back. Look me in the face. Look me in the face. Well, what do you have to say for yourself? I see. Now, brothers, we relieve you for today from your rule of abstinence. Go to our kitchen before you depart, and I hope you do justice to our cuisine. And this one? We will keep him here with us. He's vicious, Your Grace. We are not afraid. Well, now, wouldn't you rather have a Saxon archbishop than a Norman one? I hope I won't regret sending for you. Why did you? I'm not sure. Perhaps in a young, intemperate way, yours is a voice that is good for me to hear. Then why? But please, not too often and not too loud, Brother John. You betrayed your Saxon race. Now you betray God. Perhaps you will succeed in teaching me humility. It's a virtue I've never really mastered. Enter. Your Grace, Bishop Foliot has just arrived from London. He wishes to speak to you urgently. Well, my Lord Bishop, what is it? But Your Grace, you may speak freely. Brother John is in our confidence. What is it? Your Grace, I have a most serious matter to report which requires your immediate intervention. Proceed. A parish priest in Lord Gilbert's domain who was accused of debauching a young girl has been seized by his lordship's soldiers and dragged before the civil courts. Is the priest guilty? That is immaterial. As a consecrated minister of God, he can only be tried by our ecclesiastical courts. You must demand his release into church custody immediately. The principle is a vital one. Does the king know of this? He knows, but he turns a deaf ear. Lord Gilbert is his friend. I am also a friend of King Henry's. As Chancellor, you are his friend. But I wear the mitre now. You also wear the great seal of England, and I warned you, you could never do so honorably. It is fortunate that I do. I will plead our case to the king. I did not come here to ask you to plead a case. I'm asking you to defend a principle, and you'd better do so quickly. Your Grace. Thank you for your warning. We appreciate your efforts to chart the course you would naturally have followed had you become Archbishop. At least, Your Grace, I could never have been accused of divided loyalties. Should I go now? Can I go? No. See who's outside. Uh, this is Brother Philip, Your Grace. He's come with a message for the Bishop of London. I told him he just left, but now he insists on seeing you. Your Grace, I wouldn't have dreamed of disturbing you, but... Yes, you are disturbed, Brother Philip. What is it? I believe my Lord Bishop of London came to you to demand the custody of the accused priest. Yeah. The priest is dead. Dead? 
Yes. He tried to escape, but Lord Gilbert's soldiers caught him and, in the presence of his lordship, killed him. now, Brother John. My Lord Jesus, I find it difficult to talk to you. What can I say? a stranger to prayer, undeserving of your friendship and your love. I've been without honor and feel unworthy. I am a weak and shallow creature, clever only in the second-rate and worldly art, seeking my comfort and pleasure. I gave my love, such as it was, elsewhere putting service to my earthly king before my duty to you. But now, they have made me the shepherd of your flock and guardian of your church. Please, Lord, teach me now how to serve you with all my heart, to know at last what it really is to love, to adore, so that I may worthily administer your kingdom here upon earth and find my true honor in observing your divine will. Please, Lord, make me worthy. You are a creature of extremes, aren't you, Brother John? Get up. Forgive me. I didn't know. I never realized. Nor did I. Get up. You were very good at admonishing an archbishop. You think you could talk to a king? Yes. Good. Then you will memorize what I write. <laughs> 